we have to celebrate this man because he did so much to create this nation. Well, folks, I'm standing in front of a delightful pub in Kingston, Ontario. It's called the Public House. Until very recently, it was called the Sir John A. And for good reason, Sir John A. Macdonald, our first prime minister, had his law office here for 11 years before the birth of Canada, in fact. However, these days, in the social justice warrior set, Sir John A. Macdonald is linked to the Indian residential school system, and therefore he is prime minister non grata. They complained, they picketed, and the owner, Paul Fortier, decided to change the name from the Sir John A. to the public house. We're going to go inside, find out what happened, what went down, and why Mr. Fortier decided to acquiesce to their demands. Well, I'm with Paul Fortier, and uh, Paul bought the Sir John A. pub about six years ago. It has since been renamed to the public house. And uh, Paul, can you give us some uh, background in terms of who was complaining about the fact that this pub was named after our first prime minister? Yeah, well, just let me give you a little more background. So when I bought this building about five, six years ago, it was an Italian pizzeria. Okay, uh, called Forno. So, uh, uh, however, historically, the building was John A. Macdonald's law office from 1849 to 1860. Of course, Canada's first prime minister. Uh, recently, we celebrated his 200th birthday, and of course, last year, the 150th anniversary of Canada's confederation. Know that Justin uh, Trudeau said it was our 100th anniversary. So I remember that. It's the 150th anniversary, Justin. So. Um, you know, we wanted to celebrate uh, Canada's first Prime Minister and Sir John A. Macdonald, uh, you know, Kingston's most famous citizen. Okay. So, you know, as time progressed, of course, things change a little bit and we want to be as inclusive as we can be. We want everybody to feel welcome here. And uh, Canada's Indigenous peoples said they didn't really feel quite welcome coming in because of the name Sir John's Public House. And even though we commemorate Sir John A. Macdonald in many ways, we have interpretive panels in here. We have a bust, an original bust of him downstairs. We have his portrait here. He's all over our menu. So, you know, there's a plaque on the outside of the building commemorating the use of the building. So John A. is still here, but we did change the name slightly from Sir John's Public House to the Public House, just to make it a bit more inclusive. Uh, last year was, you know, sort of the year of reconciliation, and we wanted to take a small step towards reconciliation, as most Canadians, I think, want to do. And when we talk, Paul, in this context about re reconciliation and Sir John A. Macdonald, uh, I guess some Native protesters say he's connected or attached to the residential school system. Um, I'm just wondering, when you say that, you know, Natives might not have felt, you know, comfortable or welcome here, mm -hmm. are, are we talking, you know, all Natives, or is it just maybe maybe some, you know, activists in the Native community. I would say we're talking about an extreme segment of the Indigenous population who are activists, and uh, this was an easy target for them. But, you know, in retrospect, too, we wanted to take a move, a small move. Uh, it's not as though we've thrown Johnny McDonald out. I mean, he's my hero. I love the man dearly. Uh, we wouldn't be Canada today if it weren't for Johnny MacDonald. He single-handedly pulled this country together, created this nation in 1867, and grew the nation through the CPR Railway and bringing British Columbia into, uh, and some of uh, the eastern provinces as well. Oh, 100%. I mean, there is so much more, so much more to Sir Johnny MacDonald than a connection with the residential exactly. schools. Yeah, and in the bigger picture of the reconciliation, what, what I'm always curious about, Paul, is that when it comes to taking down names when it comes to removing statues and you see that trend going on at the end of the day does that really change anything for you know the average native on the reserve yeah no it doesn't um uh, it it is a step towards reconciliation and here i'm a pub owner in the middle of downtown kingston um, what can we do to contribute towards reconciliation and this was a small step that we took um, what that was symbolic uh, it ended up being much bigger than we ever anticipated it would be. I mean, it was national news for, uh, you know, several weeks. Uh, I 
received more email and more voice messages than I could even consider, including a few death threats. Oh, well, well, I'm very sorry to hear that. that. That's beyond line. But I was going to ask you about that reaction. In general, uh, what has been the feedback uh, to this move? I mean, is it mostly positive or are people bemoaning the fact that our first prime minister is suddenly persona non grata at this pub? Yeah, but of course he's not. Um, uh, Sir John A. will always be commemorated here. He will always be respected. Um, uh, we're just looking at a broader picture here. I, I'm, I'm a historian. I, I was trained as a, as a historian. I worked at the National Archives for 21 years. Oh. So, you know, I know Canada's history. I have great respect for it. That's why I bought this pub and turned it in. You know, it was an Italian pizzeria, and then it was Sir John's public house, and, you know, I... I want to commemorate this guy, I want to celebrate him. We still continue to do that, so we haven't disregarded him, but we have made a small change to the name in the spirit of reconciliation to make the place a, more welcoming to a broader community. We want. And, and are most people thumbs up on the change or are they upset? So there are a few people that are very upset that feel that we have uh, disregarded uh, Canada's past, but if they knew me personally, and saw what we do here. These are people who have never stepped foot in this place. They would know that that has not happened. Hey folks, if you heard the news, the Rebel has a brand new app. Please download it and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.